all right so making sure it works okay now let us put biomedical explorer to good use so biomed explorer from google is a tool that a lot of people that probably 99.99 percent .99 people don't know of because i think it flew and it still flies under the radar since it's only been maybe a couple of weeks uh, since it is up so what actually is biomed explorer as it says here answers to biomedical questions now in today's video i want to actually put this uh, biomed explorer to good use therefore i want to see how biomed explorer approaches the issue if i can put it that way of uh, increasing dopamine levels naturally which a lot of people tend to look for these days now just a quick reminder so i made another video on the biomed explorer and uh, i want to reiterate a few points if you don't want to watch this video that video but i would actually encourage you to actually watch it so look it on my channel now uh, the most important questions how does the tool work so the biomed explorer it uses a combination of keyword and deep retrieval to build an index and leverage state-of-the-art QA models to allow for focused answers and highlighted evidence if you want to read more about the technical details check out this blog post so you might want to look into this if you want more details I do think though and I suspect that a lot of uh the uh work behind or under the hood of biomed explorer has something to do with the switch transformer from google that was uh, introduced earlier this year in a paper in um i think it was in january 2021 and i might actually do a um re review of the paper in the near future now the second question how is this tool different from a search engine so existing search tools use traditional approaches such as keyword and various ranking algorithms you may find relevant res results but you may have to sh uh, sift through a lot of noise biomed explorer applies semantic and this is the keyword semantic this is the magic keyword semantic understanding of the content of the papers to pull out answers and highlight snippets and evidence for the user so this is actually a very intelligent tool that allows one especially researchers especially biomedical researchers to cut through the noise so in other words the tool will try to highlight passages that actually answer your question not just return snippets that match on keywords such as uh, like traditional search engine functionality now we also add unique functionality to allow users to ask follow-up questions and this is really important i'm not actually going to go into follow-up questions even though uh, you might want to check the previous video on uh, insight into biomed explorer to actually see how I used the follow-up questions now the third important question is what papers so biomed explorer actually looks into a database of over 31 million scientific papers which is why as I said in the beginning of this video we are going to approach the issue of increasing dopamine levels naturally in a scientific way so in um, in my experience and experimentation with biomed uh, explorer here um, I've actually seen results as uh, recent as last month so I think they're actually very up-to-date with their database which is a really really good thing now a database of over 31 million scientific papers that's a lot all right now let's see it in action ask a question so when you ask a question phrase your search as a question and provide as much context as possible for the best results good question what are the immunological markers for the prediction of clinical outcomes of COVID 
try to avoid this COVID outcomes clinical all right now how would we formulate our question let's see so what are natural ways to increase dopamine levels in the brain i think this is quite specific so let's see let's see what we get that's not the question i asked so once again why did they actually fill with another question so for some reason my keyword my keyboard malfunction so what are natural ways or natural methods to increase dopamine levels in the brain let's see so what are natural methods to increase dopamine levels in the brain and with this plus button you can actually ask uh, follow-up questions now you have the um, the results are pre-sorted by relevance and you can export them of course and we are being shown uh, 100 results at least so what do we see here a paper from 2018 2014 2008 2014 2013 so these are in terms of relevance but if we sort them by publication date we can see 2021 6 1 so this is actually uh, June 1st 2021 so that's very recent but it not might actually be too relevant to our uh, query here twofold elevation of endogenous growth derived neurotropic factor I think that GDNF is what uh, I think GDNF stands for growth derived but I might be um, wrong so twofold elevation improves more coordination without causing side effects the effect of daily caffeine exposure so there was a significant increase and as you can see it actually highlights a possible answer to our question so these results suggest a twofold elevation so nothing uh, like DIY there was a significant increase so caffeine we might have a suggestion that caffeine but actually we actually know that caffeine sort of like increases dopamine in this case methamphetamine we don't need that herbal ethanol extract Uh, drug addiction, immune addition, uh, what is the antigen? So inhibition profiles of some natural products. Digoxin, L-dopa, dopamine, isoliquiritigenin, and another interesting one with a long name. Sweet taste signaling and formation of memories. So nothing too relevant here natural drug extract for a nutritive tonic drink increases LTP okay so we've gone through two pages of results and the results don't seem actually really relevant what if we say how to increase dopamine 
secretion how do we increase dopamine secretion so instead of dopamine levels we can say how to increase dopamine secretion naturally let's see if this actually changes so we've only seen one takeaway is that yes caffeine is good in this case it talks about dopamine infusion so no corticosterone regulates both naturally occurring and cocaine induced so naturally occurring dopamine signaling corticosterone this is actually a synthetic steroid synthetic corticosteroid I think it's a synthetic form of cortisol so induced and increased in dopamine transient amplitude and duration but had no effect on the frequency of transient release events corticosterone this was a paper from 2017 when the stress hormone corticosterone is administered directly into the nucleus accumbens which is where I think the majority of the uh, dopamine neurons are concentrated so indicated that glucocorticoids locally act locally in dopamine terminal regions to enhance cocaine's effects on dopamine signaling so yeah partially dopamine depletion of the prefrontal cortex non-herbal non non-herbal non nutritional supplements hormonal systems inhibitory effects endogenous dopamine interesting so we might formulate a high fat western diet so you shouldn't you shouldn't consume that if you seek not to attenuate phasic dopamine release so we don't get a lot of good results now what if we say what are herbal compounds what are herbal and what are natural or what are natural plant or herbal compounds to yeah uh, to what are natural plant or herbal compounds to increase dopamine secretion in the brain now what more specific can I get exploring the potential role of rosmarinic acid okay now these might be more relevant so if we become more specific we might get more relevant results so we have rosmarinic acid that's from rosemary effect of polyphenols which are most intensively exploited for the anti-obesity potential but what does this have to do with dopamine does it say anything about dopamine here nothing maybe if we can get the full text maybe we can see some dopamine here two results so let's actually see in addition pharmacological strategies of weight loss might be considered FDA approved drug link includes orally stat this is a statin drug 
diethylpropion phantermine topiramate so phantermine topiramate appetite suppressants that increase the release of serotonin noradrenaline and dopamine so this isn't very helpful actually this is quite disappointing analytical methods for sensing catecholamine or transferase or methyl transferase activity and their applications so this is COMT this is an enzyme that has to do with the metabolism of um, so as you can see here COMT uh, with the metabolism of some neurotransmitters and not only it has been shown that COMT from human and liver liver placenta can be inhibited by T catechins flavonoids so if you inhibit a COMT you might actually increase or maintain the release or maintain the actual presence of uh, neurotransmitters within the synaptic cleft I believe if I'm not wrong so this might actually mean if you keep the neurotransmitters in the synapse for longer then you have like a longer effect a longer perceived effect of um, of the neurotransmitter the neuroprotective effect of curcumin against nicotine induced neurotoxicity So again, a mixed herbal extract as an adjunctive. So this was very recent, twenty, the twenty fifth of June. So a couple of days ago, mixed herbal extract for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which has a very strong component of dopamine so this might be really on point let's see what it is all about through the attention regulation networks dopamine system additionally water soluble extracts of four plants so we have number one number two number three and number four I had to be honest I haven't heard of them improve cognitive function results 16 percent okay I think we can do better than uh, than this Com complementary alternative medicine nuclear medicine in vitro and in vivo so therapies for Parkinson's disease this this might actually be interesting and relevant so it's probably not uh, just a hit or miss uh, issue with Biomed Explorer but I think that if you take time and do extensive research and of course if you use the follow-up questions you can get really good results out of this therapies for Parkinson's disease so they talk about Tai Chi yoga acupuncture natural products deep brain stimulation transcranial magnetic stimulation near infrared light Therapeutic potential, most recent research of these traditional and modern therapeutic options. So, these therapies for Parkinson's might actually might actually be relevant. And this is a paper from 2016. Now, um, I'd say that... So, I didn't actually think about this, but come to think of it right now we can actually use my AI and see but of course uh, with a lot of caveats so if we go to alter AI dot me Omni 
and you can sign up and try it for free uh, this uh, this is actually based on a very powerful um, AI natural language processing transformer which has been trained on more than um, so a few hundreds of billions of pieces of text which is why it knows a lot now if we ask the same question let's actually try to ask the same question now the caveat here is that one should not one should only use even though this might give relevant results one should only use this for entertainment purposes only which is why I have to I have to say this so I've said it and if we say what are the natural what are natural plant or herbal compounds to increase dopamine secretion in the brain and uh, I can toggle between sage and wizard and you'll see this uh, this gives different completions but for this we'll stick to sage which actually tends towards more factual data now of course you can try this for free play with it for free I'm just uh, curious to see what we get here compared to Biomed Explorer. So let's see. Phosphatidyl serine. So we we give we receive a straight to the point answer. Phosphatidyl serine, L-theanine, Rhodiola rosea, or natural substances that have been shown to increase dopamine secretion in the brain. Okay, now, to be honest, I wouldn't take this for granted, but actually take these three and do further research in PubMed and also Google Scholar. So, I wouldn't just start actually taking these substances, but I would actually use this output to um, do further research. Now, what happens if we repeat the same query? Do we get similar results? Because if we see similar substances here, that might actually suggest that a certain substance has been shown more than others to actually have an impact on the secretion of dopamine in the brain. So let's see. Now we get three different compounds. Ginkgo, green tea, and we know coffee. So we know coffee has uh, a direct effect on uh, dopamine. This has been well researched. Green tea, ginkgo. What if we try it one more time? So we have six substances so far that we can actually further research. Caffeine, green tea, guarana, yerba mate. So we have caffeine and green tea twice we may call it um, a success sort of like now for the fourth time we get an interesting answer what if we try it one more time and then we'll try it with the wizard to see if we another blank response we can actually nudge it like this So we see caffeine and cocaine. Awesome. Now, uh, yeah. So like I said, take this with a very big grain of salt. Let's do the wizard and actually say, instead of what, let's actually formulate a list of natural plant or herbal compounds to increase dopamine secretion in the brain then we say this ginkgo we have another uh, so we can see that ginkgo green tea and caffeine plus rhodiola appeared multiple times ginseng might have been appeared in the first query so yeah, I think 
that uh, Omni from Alter AI can give us like leads. Like I said, I wouldn't actually take this. I would only, and people should only use this for um, entertainment purposes, but I could take these as leads and actually do research on them and uh, dopamine on PubMed. But I just had an idea. Uh, we could actually ask Biomed Explorer here. Um, so we can take Ginkgo Biloba and actually say here what is the evidence for Ginkgo Biloba What is the evidence for ginkgo biloba impacting or influencing dopamine secretion in the brain? So this, in this case, we can actually use Alter AI and Biomed Explorer in conjunction and we could also use scholar of course and PubMed at the same time so this would actually be a research on steroids if I can put it that way so ginkgo biloba extract enhances reduces so significantly reduce serum prolactin levels and increase dopamine levels ginkgo study from 2008 In addition, could protect neuroscience by adjusting the secretion of dopamine in vivo. Interesting. The efficacy of ginkgo biloba should be balanced against its safety concerns. Okay, so this might be a motivation against it. Alright, so I think uh, we've done a lot in this video. 28 minutes oh my god okay so we'll probably stop here and maybe continue with a different query and a different idea in a different video